What's up, guys? I'm here on Twitter again. Haven't been on here in a while, but I'm back. And apparently there's a new version of Choices, so that means I'm probably going to have to upgrade. So, give me a second, guys. Okay, it's done updating, so let's play. Okay, so let me get my daily check-in reward. Okay. Now let's see if I can watch these ads and get some more diamonds. All right, that was it. All these ads. All right. Daily ad number two. Sweet daily ad number three. Okay. That was the last one, so now I have 186 diamonds, and now it's time to continue the story that I'm on, which has been the Royal Romance, book one. Lady Sirena, tell me, what do you think is the best quality for a ruler to have? The best quality should be charisma. A sense of duty or a really big hat? Uh, I'll just say a sense of duty. Loyalty to the kingdom you represent and the people you serve will carry you through any crisis. Good answer. Thank you, ma'am. Governance is not to be taken lightly. You will be bombarded daily by a hundred little decisions. Few will be glamorous, and many will weigh on you. Loyalty to the kingdom and to the people must guide your every decision. Right. As heads of state, we have a responsibility to the people. The press acts as their eyes. We must always portray a sense of calm and dignity. If the rulers appear in control, then everyone will be reassured. Hysteria benefits nobody. Do you agree? Ma'am, I believe a stoic leader makes for stoic people. We can show the people we're human. Or I can still wear a big hat, right? Hmm. I'll just say we can show the people we're human, I mean, I guess? If we set the examples that it's normal to have gaffes, weaknesses, and anxieties, then we can foster compassion for our faults, rather than restrain them. Normal people are allowed to have weaknesses, rulers aren't. 
Ma'am, I hate to interrupt, but it's time to begin the game. Yes, thank you for reminding me. Everyone, please follow me. It's time to begin the ceremonial croquet match. The queen leads the ladies in a procession across the lawn. Know that one of you will be the next queen, and I expect you to represent Cordonia well. Madeline here has been the embodiment of dignity and devotion. It is my hope that you may all learn from her example. Thank you, ma'am. The procession comes upon a bend. The queen begins to turn, threatening to bump into you. I should step back. You calmly step back, maintaining your position behind the queen as she turns. Was the queen testing me? Across the lawn, a number of croquet hoops have been set up. Prince Liam waits near the game equipment as the procession approaches, greeting each lady as they pass. As you approach, you hold out your hand and he brushes his lips over your knuckles, lowering his voice. Lady Sirena, I'm so pleased to see you. Prince Liam, it's nice to see you again too, or it is wrong that I want to kiss you in front of all the other ladies. I'll say it's nice to see you again too. You curtsy to him. My lady. You brush past him and focus your attention on the queen. Custom has it that the queen and the prince play a round of croquet with two of the season's suitors. I have chosen Madeline as my partner. A flurry of whispers from the noble ladies rises around you. She's a suitor? Pause, boom. That scheming little. Madeline smiles as she confidently remains by the queen's side. As for myself, I shall choose Lady Sirena. And I'm going to stop right there, guys. Hope you enjoyed that. Goodbye.